And I am here joined by Caitlin Neal, winner of the second episode of season 30 of The Ultimate Fighter, getting that W over her opponent, Helen Peralta. So Caitlin, first and foremost, congratulations on your victory. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, what is it like knowing that you are one step closer to becoming The Ultimate Fighter? You know, this has been a huge dream of mine to get into the UFC by going on The Ultimate Fighter. So winning that first fight was a surreal experience, especially having Amanda Nunes in my corner. So everything about it has just been such an awesome experience. Okay. So I have a lot of questions for you. Uh, first and foremost, because you just mentioned having Amanda Nunes in your corner, uh, there was a little bit of confusion on your part, or maybe you, you called it, you felt a little backstabbed at the beginning of the episode because you thought that Juliana um, because you have somewhat of a history with her, you, you felt a little conflicted that she would put you against her number one pick of Helen. Uh, did you ever, A, come to realize maybe what her strategy was in doing so? And B, did you feel a certain type of way, the fact that Juliana didn't choose you for her team? Yeah, so I wasn't offended that Juliana didn't choose me for my team. Um, I think Amanda knew that she was going to pull my coach from syndicate MMA and bring him onto the show. So I think, um, they really wanted me to be able to work with my coach on the show. So I think that, um, it was the reason why I didn't go with Juliana. And I think my coach kind of told Juliana's coaches not to go with me. <laughs> so I think that was the whole thing with the Juliana situation mm -hmm. situation, but um, I do, I kind of knew Juliana. I didn't know her like very well. I, she fought one of my teammates years ago, I think for her first professional fight. And then, um, she commented for my very last fight before I went into the house and she was rooting for me hardcore on air in my corner, like on that fight. So she was, um, pretty excited for that fight, uh, for me. And so I kind of thought she would pick me. And then I kind of thought that, she would kind of like still root for me, but getting to know Juliana a little bit more on the show, um, she's very cutthroat. She wants her fighters to win. And so I think she's kind of knew that I can be a mental head case. And so um, she picked her most intimidating fighter to put against me um, to try to take me out of the competition um, because Helen is not a pushover. She's really um, intimidating. She mm -hmm. talks, <laughs> she's a little bit like um she talks like she's very intimidating and like tries to like bully people and I think Juliana thought that, that she's like good. Amanda Nunez honestly very much so yeah yeah, yeah. um okay so let's talk about the actual fight uh it went to a third deciding round and after the fight Dana White said that both you and Helen seemed like you were being overly cautious throughout the duration of the fight looking back do you wish you would have done anything differently or do you feel like you played it the way you wanted to and you wouldn't change a thing honestly um uh, a win's win I'm really happy that I did win um there's always like should have would have could have I feel like if I would have shot in and taken her down earlier I probably could have gotten the finish and so um I think that's the only thing that I would maybe have changed is taking it to the ground a little bit more but um yeah, I mean, I'm happy with the outcome. Uh, well, you seemed very confident uh, leading up to the fight. Uh, I remember one quote uh, that you said that I really appreciated was, I just don't see the fight going well for her. Leading into that fight, you went through a roller coaster of emotions, uh, learning about your dad passing away while you were on the show. Uh, extremely difficult to process, uh, especially when, you know, like you said, this was the biggest week of your life, the craziest week of your life. What emotions did you take into that fight? And did you feel like this was further motivation for you to get that win? Yeah, it definitely put it into perspective for me, like why I'm doing what I do. Um, I definitely used all of those emotions in the fight um, to really push through and get, and win that third round, the seven victory round. Um, I do remember a moment, my coach saying something like, okay, Caitlin, you have to show how bad you want it. It's like the sudden victory uh, round. And so I, that's when I kind of like 
really harnessed those emotions and like went for it and threw a combination. So that's like one moment that I can really remember that. But as far as leading up to the fight, it was just like an insane roller coaster of emotions. I, it was kind of hard to process at the time. I mean, I, I can't even, I put myself in your shoes. Uh, it must've been extremely difficult, but you know, you look at others who have been in your shoes, Michael Chiesa in season 15 of the ultimate fighter, same thing, learn that his father passed away while on the show, went through that same roller coaster that you did. And he wound up winning the entire season and becoming the ultimate fighter. And since has had such a tremendous career, uh, is that motivation for you as well? Yeah, that's definitely motivation for me. Um, I personally know Michael Chiesa. He's come into syndicate a few times. And so um, hearing that and knowing that that's part of his story and knowing what can be accomplished after stuff like that happens um, is really motivating for me. Yeah, definitely getting through adversity is was probably as a fighter, one of the greatest things that you can go through. Um, I also want to talk about something uh, that probably was another motivating factor for you, and that's having the ability to train with Roxanne Modafferi uh, ahead of time. Uh, how big of a component was she in your prep leading up to the Ultimate Fighter? Yeah, so I love sparring with Roxanne. Um, she always gives me really good looks on the feet and on the ground, and she pushes me in that way. So it was awesome being able to work with her because she's such um, a high-level martial artist, and she, I believe she was in the top 10 in the UFC at the time when I was training with her to get ready for the house. So um, it was pretty cool to be able to be training with her since I did um, hear about Roxanne through the Ultimate Fighter. Uh, you have such an interesting background. Uh, there's a few things that came to uh, like the top of my mind. A, you went from cheerleader to MMA fighter, which is kind of like the most drastic transition you could possibly make. And I love it. Um, I also love that, you know, when you look at your family and the lives they live compared to the life you live, very different. You mentioned that you're almost like the black sheep of your family. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously they're very supportive of you, but what's it like having such a different lifestyle than everybody else that you're close to? Yeah, I mean, I think my family just knows Caitlin's gonna do what she's gonna do. I've been that way ever since I was little. So um, I don't think it was a shock to them that I kind of did my own thing. I'm sure that it was cage fighting. I'm sure that was a shock to them, but like <laughs> me kind of like carving out my own path, I don't think that was a shock for them. But um, I mean, we still are a lot alike in many ways. So it's not like totally different. It's just, instead of getting married and having a family and- um, And you still have time for that, by the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There is still plenty yeah. of time. Everyone like likes to do this biological clock thing for us women. We can do it all, okay? So <laughs> relax. It's true. Yeah. So instead of doing that when I was really young, like that's typical in my uh, culture, I just went with cage fighting, which was <laughs> very, very odd. Love it. Um, okay. So I just want to talk about your overall time in the tough house so far. Uh, what is the most challenging thing um, other than, you know, what you've gone through up to this, this first fight of yours, what's the most challenging part of living in the tough house, being cut off from everybody else, living with your opponents, uh, what, what would you say that it is? I think one of the toughest things for me was not having doors on your room. There was not yeah. a lot of privacy. And so there wasn't a lot of things that you could do to just go and like be by yourself and decompose or like maybe not having any outside source to kind of like decompress um unless you go and just journal all your feelings but I'm not a huge jur journaler <laughs> so um I think it was just like not having that like space or outlet to kind of like decompress and then finally Amanda Nunes being your coach I mean one of the greatest to ever do it what have you taken away so far from her um getting to know her in and out of the octagon yeah, so I think that how they edit Amanda on, like, in her interviews or in um, 
like little video clips or whatever doesn't do her personality justice. I think she is hilarious. She's so funny. She's personable and she's a really kind human. I thought she would be a little bit more angry, a little bit more serious, a little bit more like aggressive, but she was not like that at all. She was just way chill, super cool, fun to hang her out with. And um, I think one of the biggest things I took away from working with her is just um, a champion mindset. She really works hard. She shows up. She pushes um, herself. And so I think it was awesome just to be able to be in the same room with her and be being able to learn those things. Okay, Caitlin. Well, I cannot wait to see what else you pull off in this season of The Ultimate Fighter. And congratulations on your preliminary win once again. <laughs> Thank you so much. Awesome. Your, your story is incredible. So I just know that you are definitely motivating to, to a lot of people out there. I, I can speak for I'm sure many when I say that. Well, thank you. That's, I appreciate that. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.